Hey, 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 welcome to Credit Makes Sense with Nativa, the frugal creditista, where we answer your questions about money, credit, and everything in between. Today's prosperity partner question we are answering is about credit scores. How many times have you guys went to get a free credit report, a free, free, free credit score, and noticed that the scores were completely different? If you're looking to buy a house, looking to buy a car, just looking to get your scores to increase, you're probably like, what in the heck? So today we are going to talk about it and make sense of some things. For those of you who don't know me, I own MNH Financial Services, where we work with women and couples over 30 to help them uh, create custom credit solutions so that they can crush their financial goals. I also run the epic free Facebook community, Credit Makes Sense where we teach our uh, members to repair, rebuild, restore, and transform their credit scores on their own. And I own the bomb.com members club, Credit on Fire, where we help you to master your money, destroy your debts, and soar your credit scores with our monthly live lessons, our monthly Q&A sessions and accountability calls, and just a host of instructional videos, downloads, live lessons, and more to help you master that money, destroy your debt, soar your credit scores, leverage it to create wealth. So we're talking all about home ownership, real estate investing, entrepreneurship, and more. Left the link for you to grab that bad boy for our dollar trial, which is only a limited time. So let's get to our member questions. As usual, I like to read it verbatim what I do with it <laughs> all right so this member question is I've checked my credit report credit score on credit karma and on credit sesame and I see two completely different scores I would eventually like to own a home next year and I'm kind of wondering which one to monitor okay well congrats on monitoring your credit well ahead of time you set by next year um, and for monitoring your data hopefully you're not just looking at the score so that was kind of a teaching lesson and a to do <laughs> look at the credit data so let's talk about the difference between since you mentioned that you pulled it from both credit karma and credit sesame and you're looking at the scores let's talk about the difference between credit reports and scores so basically they're not one of the same for those of you who pull your free annual reports from annualcreditreports.com you'll know that a score does not come with that but you can pay for one and that's because your credit reports contain your data it's literally like a snapshot of how well you have been managing your financial obligations um, over time so it's literally a record of your credit management history I guess that's a good way to say it so a credit score is simply an interpretation of that data in a three-digit number and the number isn't for you and I it wasn't originally created created for us it was created for lenders to be able to quickly assess the risk of doing business with you so for example you mentioned you're looking to buy a home so the FICO score was created for someone like a mortgage lender to determine do I want to give this person a house what is the risk of doing business with them what is up with their payment habits? Are they, have they been good at doing so? Are they spending too much on their credit? Are they paying on time? So all of that is implied with that three digit number. So that's pretty much what a credit score is. So in essence, your credit score doesn't change, your data changes. And every day, if you actively have credit accounts with different types of uh, lenders or different lenders and creditors, uh, they're reporting data to the credit bureaus either every week, every month, and, and they report on different days. So at any given time that your credit report is being pulled, the data could be different. For example, you may have a Capital One report, uh, Capital One card that reports every tenth of the month. Then you have a Barclay card that reports every fifth of the month. Then you may have a vehicle that you have a car, uh, car loan on that can report on the 20th of the month. Then you can have student loans that report on the 20th of the month. And so if you pull your reports, your credit report, any given time in a month and it falls between some or someone didn't report something yet or where someone did report something, it can, your data could change and therefore your credit scores will be completely different. Now let's also discuss the fact that there are different type of credit scores that you get with um, different type of credit monitoring services. For example, my FICO will give you my FICO scores. Um, Experian has a my FICO product. Credit Karma gives you the Vantage scoring model. And so you may be wondering, well, that's super confusing. Why are they doing this to me? <laughs> I get that a lot. Again, the credit scores were not um, created for us. We do. There is a product called Consumer Educational Scores. It's not used in the marketplace, and it's simply used to educate us about where we may fall at as far as having um, less than perfect credit to having excellent credit. 
that's it. It's, it's just for, it's like an FYI for us, but that doesn't mean that a lender or creditor will use that credit score. The most accurate scores that are available for us to purchase today is from my FICO and it's not cheap. It's starting, I think about $30 is the time that I'm um, shooting this. So about $30. And it'll give you 19 different versions of FICO scores. Right now, it's about 65 different versions of FICO scores. But since you're buying a home, you want to focus on the mortgage FICO score. If you were going to looking for uh, obtaining a credit card, you want to focus on the FICO bank card score. If you're looking at a vehicle, you want to focus on um, the auto industry options FICO score. You see how confusing that was? Because it was never meant for you and I, consumers, to um, utilize it. It's totally meant for a um, creditor. So if I am a mortgage lender and I want to extend credit to you or a number of people, I don't want to just some generic FICO score. I don't want an auto FICO score. I don't want the score that's used for credit cards. I want the score that's tailored to the mortgage industry. And then I want to be able to customize it with my own guidelines so I can ensure that the individual whose credits and other financials that I am reviewing aligns with what who I, aligns with the type of person that I feel is worth the risk of extending a 30 year mortgage to. Does that make sense? I hope so. Not lead a comments, I cleared up. <laughs> so in essence, your credit score is just what is in existence or what's, or based on the data that's reporting into your credit report at the time. So your credit report is given to the lender, the score interprets or analyzes that data, pops out that three digit number, and it's literally only as good as the moment that it's pulled. That's one of the reasons why when you are um, buying a home, right before you close, the lender's pulled again to see if anything has changed because they know that information is added and taken away and all that good stuff all the time. And they want to make sure that the risk level that you were at when you first came to them is the same now that you're closing 30 to 45 days later. Does that clear things up? I hope so. If you have any questions about this video, definitely post them below. I'd love to answer. If you are looking uh, to have your question answered live during our Credit Makes Sense segment, definitely um, copy and paste that email address below, social at mnhfinancialservices.com, social at mnhfinancialservices.com, and I'll answer them live for our Credit Makes Sense segment, which happens Tuesdays and Thursdays between 1230 at 1230. <laughs> I can't say my videos stay between a certain time frame, so I can't say it's between anything. So I'll post it at 12.30. And if you are looking to master your money, destroy your debt, and soar your credit scores, make sure you take advantage of our Credit on Fire dollar trial. It is for a limited time, and I love to have you guys a part of our dope community where us wealth creators are making some dope financial transformation. All right, I will see you guys for the next segment of Credit Makes Sense. Have a good day.